Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 29th. Keep in mind that this reading will not be for every single person. It may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign specific. This reading is not time specific, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is just an energy I'm picking up on, an energy of what's to come. Perhaps it's going to start on the 29th. Things are about to change. Something is coming to an end. And I know I say that a lot, but you think about the 29, you think about 29 degrees, okay? 29 degrees in the zodiac, okay? Something is coming to an end, all right? Um, it's the end of a cycle, and it's time to start over, right? That's what this is about. Starting over. Something is about to begin. It's like a new beginning here. We got something beginning. This is a new beginning of some sort. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Now this is not putting in effort. Not working hard enough. You could be dealing with some. This is somebody could be lazy. Not putting in effort. Not per putting in effort to build something or giving up on something. It's just not worth it anymore. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. So this is going backwards, stuck, clinging to control. Hmm. Queen of Cups reversed. Somebody's not following their heart shutting down their emotions. It's like they want something else, but they're not taking any action. It's not, they're not, you know, to get what you are meant to have, free will plays a part. So it's like somebody's heart wants something, but they're not taking any action. They're not putting in any effort. They're not doing anything about it. So it's like they, they see a change perhaps, or they, their heart wants something, but you gotta, you gotta, you have to do it. You have to take that step. You have to spin the wheel. Okay. Two of Swords reversed. This is restricting. There's fear of the unknown. Somebody is it has fear of the unknown. So they are restricting themselves. They're indecided or undecided. I'm sorry. Undecided. So it's a day of indecision, not doing anything to change your future. It's like they want a better future, but they're not doing anything about it. Huh. Somebody may be letting their emotions get the best of them, right? Not listening to their intuition. Woo! Yeah, somebody is very undecided. It's like it's time to make a decision, but I really don't want to. Please don't make me. Well, you have to. You have to. You can't escape forever. Escaping is not going to lead you to your true life's purpose. It takes work. It takes effort. It takes ambition and drive to change your future. Nobody's going to do it for you. It's like there's this barrier in the way. Yeah, you might have to face some sort of struggle. You might have to move something out of the way to find success, to get the fortune that you're looking for but like I said nobody's gonna do it for you nobody is gonna do it for you if you have somebody here that's being lazy ten of cups upright so this there's an opportunity for happiness here this is happiness fulfillment permanent love happily ever after But in order to get this happily ever after, you're going to have to spin that wheel. You have to spin that wheel. Do not point the finger at somebody else, please. That's laziness. 
So somebody is needing to spin the wheel. They're needing to take action, but they're they're crying about it. They're not taking. They're lazy. They're you know. There's fear of the unknown. I'm undecided. I'm wishy washy. <laughs> Holding on to a dead end, which is exhausting them. It's exhausting them. Somebody is frustrated because whatever they're holding on to or whatever whatever it is that they're involved in, it's really not going anywhere. There's no success in it. It's time for it to complete. This It's time for this cycle to end. But in order for this cycle to end, you are going to have to put in the work for it to end. <clears throat> Five of Swords. Somebody's feeling defeated. Somebody has let themselves be defeated. There's a lot of tension here. There's a lot of conflict. There's conflict over following your heart. Come on now. Follow your freaking heart. What is the problem here? Follow your heart. Follow your heart. We got somebody here that is... Letting their pride and their ego get in the way of what their heart wants. They may be even afraid of what their family is going to say. What, what, what is my family going to say if I follow my heart? That's your pride and ego talking. If your family loves you, they will support you. And if they don't support you, then maybe, maybe they aren't meant to be in the next cycle of your life. Seasons change. People change. It's time to stop clinging to control. And allow what is meant to be to be. Stop fighting it. Stop letting your pride and your ego and your worry about what everybody else is going to say get in the way of what your heart wants. Because you will not receive anything fortunate going down that road. You are not stepping over that barrier. Therefore, you're stuck. Going nowhere. Open your eyes. Take the blindfold off. Remove that barrier. Make a decision to follow your heart. There's an opportunity for happiness here. If you would let go... This is the death of an idea, the Four of Swords. If you would let go of the old, let go of the old ideas, let go of your old ways, be open to experiencing new things. That's what growth is all about. So anyway. Make a decision, the Seven of Cups, reverse and stick to it. This is a decision that needs to be made. This is becoming clear of the choice. We had it yesterday. Making the choice. So today is about facing your own inner conflict. And making the choice that is best for your heart. Somebody's about to take action. This is the Knight of Rods. Act now, think later. My advice is to take action right now. What does your heart want? Somebody's going to be taking action. They are. They may be deciding, because this is deciding, finally deciding to sever ties with some, but some barrier that has been holding them back, that has keep, been keeping them stuck. They may have been dealing with somebody who is lazy, somebody that doesn't put in effort, somebody that doesn't put in the work, somebody that is really keeping them stuck. Somebody may be deciding, you know what, it's time for me to take action. I'm going to sever these ties. I'm removing this barrier. This is, this is holding me back. So I think somebody is making a decision to go after happiness. 
But in order to go after happiness, you have to take that blindfold off and you're going to have to make that painful, stressful de decision. The Two of Swords reversed. This is a painful, stressful decision. Yeah. Somebody's probably not going to like it. But they don't live your life. They aren't you. It's time to complete this cycle. It's time for, to, for you to let this phase end. It's time for you to step over that finish line and complete. This is the biggest completion of them all. This is a major new beginning. Isn't that funny? I started the reading out like this. Endings. And this is the last card in the deck. Okay, the last card in the deck. We have somebody here that has traveled as far as they can go in one situation of their life. It's time. It's time to stop resisting and step over, step into the unknown. It's time to start over. You've learned your lesson. Chalk that up. To Check it off. Check it off your list. Okay, it's done. It's over. It's time to live again. It's time to experience new things. It's time to travel. It's time to go to a different place. Celebrate that last lesson as a success because it was. Now it's time to stop clinging to it and start over. So today is a day of making a decision to finally complete something after resisting it for so long. Good luck.